how you doing guys this is death limbo again and I wanted to show you guys my latest custom now um yes he is a Deadpool and I know what you guys are thinking I mean why Deadpool why so, I mean why is there so many Deadpools and uh you know I always ask myself that question I mean when I started customizing he is the one figure that everybody does you know and I wondered why you know and, and that's a cool part I mean I like it. I like that for the reason being that there's so many variations of him now um I came to the conclusion, like, my very first Deadpool that I did was this little guy right here. He was, uh, Marvel Universe, uh, I think it was Union Jack. I don't, I don't really remember. I was walking on Walmart, and I got him, and I said, you know what? This guy would be a good Deadpool. So I did this while, this guy a while back. I don't remember when. And, uh, I like the way it came out, my Deadpools. I liked them, you know, kind of, like, more realistic looking in a way. Not, I mean, not, like. How can I say it? Not realistic. It's more, more just more. Their gear is more realistic. I mean, I like the whole katana thing, but I just, I don't know. I, I, I really prefer them looking kind of like commandos slash spy sort of. You know, I don't know. That's just me. Anyways, and um, yeah, I came to the conclusion that why is there so many Deadpool's is because he is a fun figure to make. You know, I mean, when I did this guy, I was like, man, he, it's just he's just a fun figure. You know, I mean, he's the kind of figure that. Everybody um, has to make it. Every customizer has to make. You know, there's it's like it's like a un unspoken or unwritten law about it. So yeah. So anyways, let me get this with this guy. This guy was Marvel Universe. Uh, I think a Union Jack. I sculpted his hoodie and his grenade. I don't really remember. And I sculpted. I think his uh, his vest. His, not his vest. His straps and whatnot. And his yeah, his straps and whatnot. And I wanted to give him like a radio. Like I said, I wanted him to be a little bit more commando looking you know and uh, yeah I mean I like small figures I mean these guys are they're pretty easy I mean it's just a little bit of a patience more more patience with them but he, overall I think it came out pretty, looking pretty cool you know and uh, I thought that was cool looking I mean I like the way it came out so let me put this guy on the side now for my latest figure my latest custom it was this uh, six inch uh, Deadpool now I wanted him to look the same way, uh, you know, Commando. I mean, even, I even give him the same thing. His uh, his uh, radio with his cable and whatnot. And yeah, you know, I mean, uh, I wanted him to look, you know, cartoony. You know, I had the Ape Sapien animated Ape Sapien uh, figure, and I decided, man, this guy will look good as a Spider-Man. But then I looked at it again. I was like, man, you know what? A Deadpool will look good too. So that was that. But this time I want a little bit. <clears throat> I want a little bit more. Uh, sorry, excuse me. <clears throat> I want a little bit more commando. I mean, more commando, more uh, more tactical. I gave him a vest. His, uh, you know, I think it's all fought. I, I, it's. Yeah, I think it was fought. I'm not really sure. The vest came. It was already there, but the straps. The straps I did myself. The uh, and I didn't do myself. I it was fought. Same thing as for these. More straps. The belt as well. The only thing I sculpted on this was the, what do you call it, the uh, belt buckle. I sculpted the the pouches here and these as well. Uh, for his face, I used a Spider-Man Hasbro uh, Black Spider-Man, the symbiote, symbiote Spider-Man. And I used a very, um, I really modified on this on this face, you know. Because the original Spider-Man, his nose is kind of like going out. It's not, it's not, it doesn't have a square jaw. So I had to cut it off and sculpt it. So there's a square jaw. For his eyes, I sculpted the eyes as well. You know, as you can see. I sculpted all that. I also sculpted his hoodie. And uh, for his lines here, for his trimmings, I think, I used a cable, small cable. You know, I, I think it came out pretty good. And I also sculpted his C4 plastic explosive. I gave him some metal there. Kind of gave him a little, little more realistic looking. And I also sculpted the pouch here. Uh, his trim, this I sculpted as well. All this, you know, it was it was a fun figure to make. I, I, that's the, I mean, he is a fun figure to make. So many ways, so many different ways to do this guy. And uh, my Deadpool's in general, I like my my figures. I mean, my this this guy's like I said, I I like them to be a little bit more uh, tactical, more you know, bad. I'm not badass looking. Just you know, I I don't know. That's just me. I I, I like him. I think he came out looking pretty cool. He looks like a spy kind of to me, you know, like he's like uh, one of those uh, mercenaries for hire. 
Obviously he is. <laughs> but the thing is that I wanted him to look like one of those real guys from that you see in like Afghanistan, kind of. Anyways, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it with this figure. But for the the unique thing about this guy that I wanted, well, not unique, but just the one thing that I wanted to give him a little bit more more pizzazz, I guess, if you wanted to call it that, is not only his weapons, I think his weapon was uh, the AK-47. I highly modified it. I think it was from a... Um, uh, let me see here. I think it was from a uh, McFarlane toy, military. So yeah, like, the weapon came out like this, I mean, obviously. And I changed the mag. For the mag, I used an M4, and I sculpted the bullet there, as you can see. And it still fits in there. I wanted it to look a little bit different, so it looks kind of like a different weapon, kind of. Also, for this, I, I, uh, I used fodder, and I gave it a scope. Went, trying to get it something a little bit different. Kind of like uh, air-dried air it in at the same air dry, uh, airbrushed it. And uh, same thing for here, for his uh, the wood. As you can see, I kind of gave it a little bit of more of a worn out kind of look. I tried to, anyways, keyword. Tried. Yeah, so far I like the way the figure came out, you know. Let me set this aside. And uh, I wanted him to be functional. His, You know, like I really wanted his, his vest to be, you know, functional. So I decided to use, I mean, for his 1911 Colt 45, as you can see here, I, I uh, modified it. Not only that, but... Let me see if I can show you. The clip also comes out. And, uh, hold on, let me show you that. And the clip comes out. And it goes back in, and you can see a bullet. Let me see if I can show you the bullet. Oh, sorry about that, guys. The bullet is there. And it goes back in. Just needs to cock the blowback. <laughs> Other than that, it'd be cool looking. Oh, wait, put it back in the wrong way. So I can show you here, guys. You know, and and these little pieces, I mean, you can lose. That's cool. You know, I like that. But I also wanted to go for another step, as you can see here. He holds everything. You know, and um, so I can show you. Silencer. Oh, stand up a little. Yeah, for a silencer, he's got a silencer and everything. And I like that. I was like, dude, that's sweet. I thought it looked good. I. Uh, I just I just had that idea. I was like, man, you know what? Make his weapons kind of function so you can have him with a silencer and whatnot. Clip comes out and everything. And I wanted to give him his weapons like a little kind of worn out look. Same thing goes for his, his clips up here, his M4. The M4 for the AK-47. Let me see if I can take it out. You know, bullet and everything. A little bit small parts. See? And uh, yeah, I mean it was it was a fun figure to make. Very, uh, he's always I mean Deadpool's always a fun character in itself, but like I said, I wanted him more tactical. Let me see if he wants to come out. Let's go. There you go. And uh, for his set for his nine millimeter uh, Beretta, I couldn't really. I mean it was, I think it was from a McFarlane uh, T1000 gun that I painted. And I didn't like it. I mean, it's too skinny. You know, as you can see, it's just skinny. And I really couldn't work out the whole clip out and, you know, silencer there. So that's the only drawback on that. But, uh, yeah, you know. So far, I mean, I like the way the figure came out. I, uh, you know, I, there's a lot of Deadpools out there, guys. All of them unique in their own way. And uh, that's what I like, you know. That's, that's one thing about, I like about these figures. These uh, customizing, it's just that everybody has their own way of making their own figure. But for Deadpool, it's like it's just the pinnacle of how you see so many uh, imagine uh, the imagination of so many custom uh, customizers, you know. And yeah, you know he's been done just like Wolverine, I guess. But the thing is, you know, I mean, like I said, uh, he is. It's just he's just a kick-ass figure to make, you know. And. Uh, I think there will always be more figures to make for him, and more, more. There's more. There will always be more. You know, more Deadpool and whatnot. And uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I have a, uh, I have also a couple other customs I'm trying to make right now, but I'm so I'm, I'm just kind of slowing it down. And uh, this figure is available on eBay. And uh, this guy isn't, so to say, I'm trying, I don't know if I should sell him individually. I was thinking maybe just, I don't know, I mean, I like him, I, I like I like how small he is. And, you know, they're both very poseable, the same. 
And uh, yeah, you know, let me know what you guys think. As always, subscribe, comment, and uh, rate. And uh, yeah, you know, thank you guys for watching, and uh, see you next time. Cheers.